So in this presentation, I'll be trying to explain what the elevator pitch is so that you can engage people in your research really succinctly and in exciting ways. Getting buy-in from others requires you to speak concisely, succinctly. People often fear public speaking and academics tend to talk way too long. You've really got to learn to be punchy, to be short in the way you present your ideas. So what is your elevator pitch? It's a short summary of your idea or your research. And the, the idea of the elevator pitch comes from this concept that you're in an elevator with somebody you want to influence. You only have as long as it takes to go to whatever floor they're about to get off on to influence them, to get what you want from them, and you haven't got long. So what are the key points for a pitch? Well, in business, we'd ask, what is your product or service? Who is your market? What is your revenue? Who's behind your company? Who are you working with? Who is your competition? And what makes you special? What's your competitive advantage? These points don't seem terribly applicable to academics, but when you're talking to business, you really should try and make your case on their terms. Let's look from an academic's perspective. What is the output of your planned work? Who is it for and why is your work interesting? Who will be paying for it and why? Who's in your team? What work has been done and which researchers are active? Why you, why now? So here's a, a real example. I needed to get a speaker. Um, I met a guy at a garage who told me he was an SME owner with a 10 million pound turnover. So he was at the garage. I had to make my pitch. I asked him where he, how he got to where he is, and he had an interesting story. So I thought, okay, he does have an interesting story, so maybe he's my speaker. So I said, my students would really benefit from hearing your story and experience. Would you like to come and do a guest lecture for me? Very quick. He's doing the guest lecture today. So what about getting business support? I saw this chap I knew from a firm and he was just about to leave the building to get his train. I ran over notionally to say goodbye, but I told him I was bidding for £100,000 to form a network of experts on service support and I knew his business was investing in that area. I said, look, will you join my network? All I need from you to help me do my bid is a letter on your headed note paper to say you think it's good and you'll join the network. He said yes. He suggested linking my network to his industry support network that he fortuitously happened to be just uh, establishing. And that made my network a lot bigger. So when we put it into the, the grant, it actually looked much bigger because we had many, many more businesses. So that was really fortuitous. You might also be sharing your latest research. So what is your you know, product or service? What's the contribution of the paper? Who's your market? What's the discipline? Who are you speaking to? And what's the gap in that specific literature? Why would somebody be using the work? What will they learn? And who will apply your work and why? Who did you write this with? Who's in the team? It's always good to name check your co-authors. And then what is the novel contribution? What makes your paper unique? What's the real crux of what you're trying to say? And you should be able to, to, to say these things really quickly. You say, here's my new paper, it does this. So if I brought someone in you'd like to work with right now, what's your elevator pitch? Think, think through those points that we've raised here. Start to formulate it so you've got something really exciting, really engaging that grabs that person and says, yeah, I, I want to work with this person.